uh, as you know, the importance of this topic. I think everyone knows the importance of Salatul Rahim and the danger of cutting the ties. But you know, uh, sometimes there is a problem that we don't think about examples of this issue or something practical. I like to mention, yani, for example, the father and the mother with their children. Sometimes they, I mean the parents, they don't think about this topic. Yani for example, maybe there is an issue. You are, yani your, your son made you unhappy, sad, angry, whatever. Then he came and he said sorry. And he brought for you a gift. And still you are not talking to him. You don't accept from him. This is haram. If he did something wrong, okay, we agree that he did something wrong. And now you are not happy with him. But later after maybe one day or after one week or even after one year, he recognized his mistake and he is and he's seeking your forgiveness before, and the forgiveness of Allah before that, of course. You should accept you as a father and also you as a mother. Be careful. Don't think that, I mean, you know, sometimes the parents think that I have the authority, that I am a parent, I am a father, I am a mother. And Allah mentioned so many things in the Quran and so many things in the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Okay, this doesn't mean he should be your slave. She should be your slave. It doesn't mean you do whatever you like. You should also follow Allah, follow the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be careful. Don't stop, don't close the door in front of your children. And you know, sometimes, not because of a mistake. Yani, for example, I will not say this is common, but this happens. The parents, yani, brings someone for their daughter as a husband. The daughter doesn't want. She doesn't want this, this husband, this man as a husband. And she has the right to refuse. Why? Because he's not practicing. He's not practicing. The brother, this, this man is not praying on time. He doesn't care about the, the five prayers. So she has the right to refuse. She has to refuse. She has to refuse. Then the parents khalas. The parents make it like a hell for this girl, Maskina. Because you refuse halas. They are beating this girl or not talking to her. No mobile, no internet. Subhanallah. Why? Why this kind of punishment? They treat her like shaitan. We should be careful as parents. We should think. Okay? We should discuss what he or she I mean the son or the, the daughter. Why they don't agree with us? Is it right or wrong? We should think. It doesn't mean that I am the father. She should obey everything. No, she should not obey everything. And you as a mother, she should obey everything. No. Obedience and the lawful things, the known things, allowed things. But if there is something haram, she, she, she doesn't have to obey. Or sometimes it is not haram and halal, but she has the, yani her opinion, her own choice in marriage, especially marriage. They so please the, the parents. And now I think most of you parents, or maybe grand, mashallah. Fathers and grandfathers. They, be careful. Don't misuse your name as a father. I mean your position as a father or as a mother. Be careful. You should treat your children as other Muslims. And better also. Don't boycott them. No, no, I'm not speaking to him. Why? Yani, yani, you know, one, one of the problems, okay, and it should not be a problem. Maybe the mother tells her daughter, come with me. We, ha we are invited for, for a wedding party. The daughter says, oh, Allah, sorry, mom, I, I cannot come with you because there is music. If there is music, I will not come. No, you should come. This, you know, I think, you know, this is one of the problems. This is one of the problems. 
يعني you should help your son and daughter if they don't want to commit the haram no sometimes we are the opposite they want to stay away from the haram and we are against them your son wants to grow the beard why your beard like this trim from here cut shave why i need i need a support dad mom i need a support the, the, maybe your girl, she is 15 years old. She wants to start the niqab. Still you are young. Who said the niqab is haram during the age of the school? Who said it is haram? What's wrong with that? Khalas, she is balagh. She is balagh. I mean 15 years old, 16 years She is balagh. She's an adult. No, after marriage, khalas. With your husband, if you like to wear the niqab, it's okay. But now, you are in the school, you are in the college. Mushkila wallahi. And you know, sometimes you find the parents force their children to put them in a school, free mixing school or something like this. I mean, brothers and sisters, okay, the topic of khutbah, it is not only for a brother and a sister or one of the cousins, one of the relatives, because of money, because of land, because of inheritance. Think. You, I mean, start your thinking at home. With your son, with your daughter, with your brother, with your father, with your mother. Wallahi, we miss a lot of blessings because of this issue. Why you are not blessed in your life? You work in this job for one, one year, two years, then a problem with your boss. Then you struggle. Three, four, five months without a job. Then another job. You are struggling from one job. Maybe, I, I'm not saying this is for sure, but maybe. This is happening for you because of what? Because the problem with your brother or sister. And you are not accepting the reconciliation. So again, I'm telling myself, everyone, take the chance. Now we are in bliss days. And wallahi, you will be happy. Wallahi, you will be happy. When you start... When you restart the healthy relationship with your relatives. Imagine, you celebrate the Eid with everyone. You celebrate Ramadan with everyone. When there is a weekly visit or there is a, like the summer vacation, Wallah, you will be happy when you see all of your children with you, your children, your grandchildren, all of them. Tayyip. But subhanAllah, one of them there and the other, the other place, they don't want, they can come, but they don't want to come. Because of what? Because of what? Well, like maybe sometimes you feel shame to mention why. Because before five years, six years, something ridiculous happened. So from that time, khalas, I cut the relationship. Seek the, number one, seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should make a sifar from that major sin. It is major sin, as we mentioned the khutbah. They even take the advantage of longer life and more money, inshallah. And the reward, of course, if you strengthen these bonds, the bonds of your relatives. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring the hearts together all the relatives, all the Muslims in the whole world, Jazakumullah khairan, and tomorrow, Arafah, try your best to fast Arafah, the reward great of Arafah, and after that, the Eid, Jazakumullah khairan, Salli Allah, Salli Muhammad.